Mm. Okay, so I haven't done a video for a while, so I'm going to do something just really fast, just so I can you know, keep everybody happy. Um, so this is just the, it's going to be a metal flower. Okay, so we got to make three of these. To start out, I had squares like this, and I just drew an X and then a cross, and then I punched a one-eighth hole in the middle there. So all I have to do is cut these two out to look like that one. Um, I use one of these, just little snips. There's one more step, I gotta cut down just a little bit more. I'm gonna cut all the way down in like that. So I'm just gonna cut these in like that. I'll do the exact same thing to all of them. And then I'll show you what to do after that. Anyway, while cutting, I would highly recommend wearing a glove, at least on the hand that you're holding this, because as you're cutting, you're creating really sharp edges. Anyway, so just keep doing that. Okay, there's two down, and just in case you want to know, it's three and a half inches square. Alright, this right here is a rivet, pop rivet gun. As you pull the trigger here, it pulls on the rivet. So, here's the rivet, a pop rivet. It has this, looks like a nail going down through it. And at the top here, there's a ball, a head on the nail, I guess you say. And as it pulls it down, it mushrooms over this, this opposite side of the rivet. And it sandwiches whatever's in between. Okay, so you'll see this in action. So if you've never seen one of these work, it's actually really cool. Alright, so I'm going to put the rivet down in there, like that. And I have it in a vise, so it's not going to move around on us. So here's the first one. Now it's kind of tight. It's having a hard time getting on there. There it goes. Here's another one. Here's another one. And sometimes they don't go on very well, so I got this. It could be anything with a hole in it. Let's put it over and mount it down so those are more flat. Okay, so now Watch this as I pull the trigger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn these so they're kind of fanned out in different ways. There we go. All right, so I'm pulling the trigger. See, it's pulling it down. As it, as it pulls down, it mushrooms it out. So you gotta let go. Make sure it falls back down into the uh, to the rivet gun. Pull it again. Pops. That's why they call it a pop rivet. Okay, sometimes the uh, the ball falls out. Sometimes it's trapped in there. Doesn't matter. Um, and that's that. Okay. Okay. Some people will hammer it. This back. If you want to make it tighter, you can. Hammer it down just like a normal rivet. And it looks more plain. Okay, so there's the other side. So you see it on both sides, it's sandwiched the, the metal. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna put back my glove on. Um, usually you'd want to go through and file off any sharp edges. I'm kind of in a hurry, so I'm gonna do it with the sharp edges still. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, it doesn't matter which one, just pick one of the top ones and bend it so it's straight up and down. Okay, then curl it in. You want it to be fairly tight. because This is going to be the inside of the flower. All right, 
right, so you can kind of see that's what it's going to look like. And then bend up the opposite side. What you want to do is you want to curl it around the first one you did. So curl it around little bits at a time. Keeps twisting the whole thing. Anyway. There we go. Just got to get a good hold on to it. So basically, we're curling it around. And it doesn't have to be perfect because nothing is perfect. No flower is perfect anyway. So there's the other one folding around. And again, we'll do it with this one. Each time, you'll just bend it around the previous bunch. So we'll just curl it a little bit more. Just little bits at a time. Take your take your time. Fold up and around. I go to the opposite side. Do the exact same thing. Now instead of a pop rivet, you could use a bolt. You could screw it down to a piece of wood. I always, I keep having the idea of I'm thinking about making this a pencil holder or a pen holder for a pen. It'll be kind of fun. <clears throat> anyway, so there's all, all sorts of stuff you could do with this, and they look good too. Now this particular type of sheet metal is called paint lock. It actually already has a primer on it, so I can paint this. I don't have to worry about primer or anything like that. Alright, so there's the first one. So that's the center of the flower. And uh, twist that so it's... Okay, so now this one's going to come up. And we could even curl it a little bit before lifting it up might be easier this is only the second one I've ever made so bear with me I'll let you know how easy it is huh? alright so there's that one turn it that makes it really hard to do this is trying to hold it in front of the camera at the same time. Other than that, it's easy. As you get out bigger, you don't need as much of a curl. Alright, so there's those. Let's do this one. Just curling it a little bit and then push it up. There we go. It's actually really quite simple. So I'm, this is going to be a new project for my 8th grade students. Ninth graders can do it too if they want because they make the pens. They want to make it as a pencil holder or a pen holder. I think it would look good as that. Alright, pop it up. 
There we go. It's looking more like a rose. All right, I'm turning it so it's gonna come up and hit it just right. right curl. Remember, always do opposite sides. Bend it up. Voila. Two more to go. And the, the head custodian of the school this is the one that showed me how to do this. He makes stuff all the time too. Make a, a whole bouquet of roses and they'll never go bad. All right, there's a rose. Now you could do four of those layers if you want the rose to be more open, or you can also, you know, flare them out just a little bit more. Another little trick that he showed me is you can go on the, the top of a, each petal. Let's see if I can get a good view here. So go on the top of each petal and bend it slightly down like that. Just to little flare like that. So if I do that on all on on the ones on the outside, it gives it a little more realistic look to it. I'm going to have to invest in some more pliers so that all my students can do this at once. But other than that, it's a really cheap, easy project to do. There we go. It's a rose. Now, obviously we'd, we'd then spray paint it and make it look better. You could design a stem to come off of it. All sorts of stuff. But for now, I think that's good enough. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a fun, easy project to do. Especially as some old metalworking equipment laying around just waiting to be used. Okay, so I have a bunch of these laying around and uh, quite bigger, so we took four of these and made this one. This is with four of them, not three, so you get a little bit more of a full rose. So that should show you a little bit more of how bending them down. I'm going to use this one as a classroom example of you know the things you can do. This one also we bolted together and then this is all you can just shove it on there, glue it in and you have a rose.